Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to be showing you an AI agent that is going to help us write an entire blog post completely from scratch, all by giving it a detailed prompt and specific templates. Once we give it the initial draft, we're going to have about a 90% article completely done, and we need to add in our own 10% of editing, personal experience, and just making sure and proofreading that the article is good. You guys are going to be completely shocked. I was the same and it's going to be really fun. So let's go ahead and jump into this AI agent called GenSpark. So we're going to be using GenSpark, which is a competitor to Manus, and it's another generalist AI tool. With GenSpark, we can essentially create AI slides. We can generate videos, images. We can even have GenSpark call and make reservations for us at a restaurant. And essentially they have all these different types of agents that you can create. Now I've been testing this agent on the free plan and the credits go up really, really fast. So that is one of the cons to this tool. So you more than likely might need a paid plan if you end up liking it. But for specific use cases, you can actually just use the free credits, which is 200 credits per use. I'm going to go ahead and use a detailed prompt. I'm going to write an article or a product review on a tool called Revit AI that I'm actually working on. And from there, we're going to use a content optimization tool called Surfer SEO to extract all of the guidelines required and input that into GenSpark. With all that information, we're going to see what it comes up with. It's going to be really fun, and I cannot wait to see the output that we get. You'll be surprised. Okay, so this is the product that we're going to create a product review on. It's called Revit AI, and essentially allows you to create viral videos in minutes, uh, kind of like faceless channels. Uh, it's becoming really popular. And I know that this is going to be a really solid product to review on my article or my website. So from here, we're going to open up Surfer SEO. Again, this is a content optimization tool to help you understand what terms to include in your content, how many words you should have, how many headings and paragraphs and even images. And it goes all compared to our competitors here. So we have an idea of who's ranking on the first page of Google. And Surfer SEO is extracting all that data from these comp competitors. So some of the things I like to do here is I like to go ahead and just export the guidelines as a TXT file. And we're going to have that saved here. And what am I going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and start dragging this information in. OK, next up, I have a product review template that I created. And I follow this for every single product review article that I've ever written. And this allowed me to rank on the first page of Google for a lot of other product reviews that I've written. I'm going to show some examples on the screen right now. So I'm going to go ahead and download this as a PDF. OK, now we have that PDF. I'm going to go back into GenSpark and then I'm including that product review template into this GenSpark super agent. So from here, we can go ahead and prompt it. We can also create detailed prompts using an AI prompt generator or do meta prompting in another AI tool. So what I'll do is I'll just show you an example of what I would do for this specific prompt. So here is the prompt that we're going to be using. It says, hey, help me write a blog post for a product review called Revit AI. Here is the site. You need to follow my blog post template, which is attached. And you also need to include the keywords based on Surfer SEO's recommendations. Here's how I also write my product reviews. So I'm giving it some examples of other articles that I've written that are in that same format. And then I'm also letting it know to do it in Markdown and also to not repeat any patterns in the article and also to model my writing style based on my examples. So from here, let's go ahead and click on enter and see what it gives us. What you're going to see here is that it's going to be basically pulling a bunch of different information in, and it's going to be using different tools and scanning and scraping the websites and also potentially other competitors articles. So you can see here that it's actually scraping and scanning revit.ai. And now it's looking at my other two articles to understand my writing style. And now it's checking Surfer SEO's recommendations based off my TXT file. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be looking at that product review template as well. OK, so you can see here that it's starting to write the article. And it came out with a really good intro, kind of modeling my own style. It's even screenshotting and taking pictures of the specific parts of the website. And I love how it's like modeling the exact layout from my article. So we have the best features of Revid. It's coming up with the list items here, the AI script generator. 50 different unique voice captions, and it's even given us an image. And this is just making it so easy for us. It's even getting the pricing for us as well. And I'm just going to let it finish, and then we can go ahead and insert this into Surfer SEO. All right, so GenSpark completed the entire article. Now, again, what we're going to do here is we're just going to copy this entire article draft, and we're going to insert this into Revit. So please do not think that you just get an article and you're going to hit publish on your website or your client's website is a no-no. You have to do so much more editing to this. You need to proofread it, fact check information, which GenSpark can actually do for you. But we want to make sure that you have some kind of manual input 
into this entire process. So let's go ahead and add this in here. And this is the article from GenSpark. So you can see here that from the content score, which is showing the score of the competitors and our average score of where we should be at for the specific post, you can see that we got a 77 right out the gate. Now, of course, this is not even close to being done. We still need to add some more images if needed. We need to add internal links. We need to add in you know, proofreading and editing. And there's just so much more little details that we have to do ourselves. But you can see that we just basically got a article that's about 90% done. Now, for those of you who are working with clients or you have some extra time to even create more detailed prompts by adding like brand guidelines, writing styles, other things that you want GenSpark or the AI agent to review before writing the post, you could do so much with this. And this is just the beginning. I mean, we barely even started knowing about AI agents and more of these generalist AI tools are coming out for us to use. But overall, out of the box, this is a pretty decent article. So some of the things I'd like to do is I just like to review the intro. Like, does this actually sound like something I would say? How should I rewrite it? Maybe I can add this into Grammarly or another plagiarism checker and just verify that all the content is something that I'm able to post online. So you can see here that we got basically the entire templated version. It's modeling exactly what I said. Here's uh, an example, Revit AI pros and cons. After thoroughly testing Revit across multiple projects and comparing it to other video creation tools, I had identified clear strengths and limitations that will help you determine if it's the right fit. Then it's given us these pros, it's given us some of the cons, and it's even given us the alternatives. So we have InVideo, Synthesia, Pictory, Vid.io, uh, Lumen5, as we know that these are actual real products. Uh, it's even coming up with a case study and my experience using Revid. Of course, I, I need to make sure that this is all legitimate. Uh, and you obviously want to test the tool if you're going to add this into your article. Um, overall, this is a really good example use case. It's actually coming up with all the FAQ questions, and these are basically optimized for featured snippets and AI search. Now from here, we, we can see that it's basically use most of the terms that we ask it to. There's just a few that it's missing, which is not a problem. You never really want to over optimize anyways. So I'm glad that it did it this way. Now from here, you can even go back into GenSpark and you can ask it to create images for you um, that is relatable to the topic or you just say, hey, create a featured image using this specific brand color. And that is how you can create blog posts using GenSpark, which is again, an AI agent platform. I'm probably going to be doing a lot more in-depth, more thorough reviews on these different AI tools that you can use. If you guys like this video, go ahead and comment below. Let me know what other AI agents you'd like me to try out. If you want me to do more in-depth videos on GenSpark, then just go ahead and let me know. If you guys enjoyed this video, you can also watch this playlist next that YouTube's going to recommend you. I'll see you in the next video.